Hello dear friends, uh, dear visitors of LERP Society, this session uh, I want you um, to pay attention to another session of our English vocabulary series based on 504 absolutely essential words. Uh, this session we will focus on unit uh, or lesson 37 of this uh, best-selling course book. Uh, before starting, I want to show uh, show you the um, English flashcards that I have created, and you can uh, also use them if you just visit us on LELB Society at LELB.net. Okay, these are some flashcards uh, or photo dictionaries. Monarch, as you can see, it's a king, and uh, majestic. It is related to monarch because majestic refers to majesty or dignified person, usually kings. And uh, mythology, and uh, again, majestic. Dwindle means to decrease and reduce. Tempest means a uh, storm, a violent and strong storm surplus something that that is more than enough means extra or excess uh, let me see again surplus more mortal means something that will perish or die out sooner or la later as you can see here there is the uh, concept of a baby and then actually the uh, graveyard so traitor traitor means treacherous means a person who will betray another person or something opposite of uh, patriotic and uh, unless means if not deliberate means uh, as an adjective means very careful and intentional and uh, deliberate means to consider as a verb and adolescent means teen teenager it's an adjective and also it could be used as a noun here it has been used as an adjective drought means famine starvation dryness a period of time in which we have less of water or we are in short supply of water lack means uh, not having enough of something dearth d-e-a-r-t-h and uh, migrate as you can see means to move from one place to another usually uh, of animals to find better conditions for living fertile fertile American pronunciation fertile British pronunciation means to be really productive of a land or even actually it, it can refer to a uh, person um, particularly female people who become pregnant and actually who are ready for uh, reproducing and uh, unite means to join and join each other come together as you can see novel novel as an adjective means new and uh, as a noun refers to a story a, a storybook that is really fat it means including a lot of pages summit summit the peak of the mountain and also this is one of the meaning uh, one of the meanings and the other one actually means uh, the apex or the highest point not necessarily of mountains and also another meaning is a very important diplomatic conference and uh, okay 
I just showed you uh, the important flashcards now let's review the entire text as you can uh, see here on LELB Society if you just let me just uh, show something else to you you know if you just uh, move the cursor of your mouse on classes archive you will have you will access the comprehensive archives of the classes that are categorized and if you just for example click on 504 absolutely essential words you will have access only them uh, posts of this course book uh, I have also just created some uh, podcasts based on 1100 words you need to know for and against that is an advanced reading course book I also say samples with uh, original questions and also full text and corrections and so many other things they have been categorized just focus on this font classes archive and then you can have necessary information okay uh, this session uh, as I said we will focus on uh, unit 37 okay let me just increase magnification all right the first word is air remember H is not pronounced it is called silent like our you know we have also let me see yeah we have our there are some words in English like this one like this one honest you know uh, H in these words uh, is silent like air means a person who has a right to someone's pro property after that one dies so uh, also we say inheritors or successor person who inherits anything mm, inheritor or successor okay uh, sentence A though Mr. Sloan is the heir to a gold mine he lives like a miser though or although or nevertheless you know uh, this these are some conjunctions in order to show contrast he is the heir to a gold mine so he must be a rich person however he lives like a miser miser means uh, uh, let's say a person who is not generous generous is the opposite of miserly remember the adjective form is miserly and miser is a noun also you can say stingy or miserly uh, let me see okay also generous mm -hmm. okay sentence B the monarch died before he could name an heir to the throne so throne does not refer to the special seat on which kings uh, sit here it has been used figuratively it, it refers to the authority or power of the king or monarch died before he could name an heir to the throne and therefore because of that there must be some sort of anarchy or chaos uh, because he did not just select any heir or substitute for himself sentence C it is essential that we locate the rightful heir at once it is imperative it is necessary that we locate American pronunciation locate British pronunciation means to find to select the rightful air the correct air suitable or appropriate air at once means immediately as soon as possible 
Okay. Word two. As I have shown uh, the illustrations with the help of our English flashcards at the very beginning, so I do not need to just decrease magnification. That's why I just showed all of them to you. Majestic means grand, noble, dignified, and kingly. Means of great quality and of great, let's say, value and that's why we have noble dignified with dignity and kingly referring to kings the lion is the most majestic creature of the jungle yeah based on the natural selection and the um, survival of the fittest you know the lion actually is, is supposed to be the strongest of all creatures in the jungle and uh, yeah. Uh, okay. B. In Greek mythology, Mount Olympus. This is the short form or abbreviation of mounting. Mount Olympus was the majestic home of the gods. Remember, we have the gods, and G is not capitalized because it does not refer to God. Uh, it refers to different versions of gods that uh, the Greek used to believe in. For example, we had uh, Zeus and Adonis, Helen, Morpheus, and so many other gods. We had, uh, I mean, in Greek mythology, for each concept, almost for each concept, there was a particular god. And also the female form of God or version of that of God was goddess. Okay, so Mount or Mountain Olympus was the, oh, let's say, establishment of Olympic Games even that we celebrate every four years. Was the majestic home of the gods, the origin of or let's say the foundation or the genesis okay the starting point sentence C the graduates it's not graduate it's graduates because it's a noun uh, marched into the auditorium to the music of the majestic symphony graduate is a person is a student who has graduated from a major at university or even a school or any other academic institution marched into they just performed a particular walk uh, into the auditorium or hall h-a-l-l -L, to the music so they tried to be in harmony with the music of the majestic uh, symphony so particular music was being played or broadcast and they were I mean the graduates actually were trying to keep pace with the music okay uh, number three dwindle means to shrink to become smaller and smaller shrink decrease reduce lessen l-e-s-s-e-n our supply of unpolluted water has dwindled unfortunately our supply or stock s-t-o-c-k of unpolluted means pure drinkable drinking water has dwindled so we have uh, access we don't have access to uh, let's say an abundance of pure water or drinking water unfortunately it has decreased in amount sentence B with no visible signs of their ship hopes for the men's safety dwindled with each passing hour so the situation is so desperate because with no visible signs of their ship we could not find any signs or any trace, T-R-A-C-E, of the ship 
therefore we became hopeless our hopes dwindled the men's safety or actually safe uh, condition dwindled with each passing hour the more it passed or it elapsed let me write it down also for pass you can say elapse means pass uh, the more it passed or went on or went by you can also say go by go by means uh, pass the more it went by the simple past the more we became pessimistic about the possibility of finding the ship okay uh, sentence C after the furious tempest the dwindling chances of finding the raft vanished entirely after the furious means angry strong violent tempest means a storm a violent storm the dwindling chances or possibilities of finding the raft vanished entirely raft is a particular simple form of a boat in which some pieces of wood uh, are tied to each other and it floats over the surface of water it's so simple and it is so susceptible and easily broken uh, so uh, the chances or possibilities or likelihood of finding that raft vanished or disappeared or faded faded away entirely means completely so we became again actually hopeless to find uh, that raft all right number four surplus surplus means an extra amount amount over and above what is needed excess extra yeah okay sentence a the bank keeps a large surplus surplus of money in reserve in reserve means uh, as a kind of supply you know particularly for the rainy day to put something on ice you know it's important for a bank actually to accumulate some money for the rainy day and to put it aside okay sentence B uh, surplus wheat cotton and soybeans are shipped abroad surplus means excessive uh, amount of wheat these are called uh, beans wheat cotton and soybeans are shipped abroad it means are exported exported the opposite of imported abroad or overseas to this to distant places all around the globe sentence C no mortal ever considers that he has a surplus of good things mortal refers it's an it's a noun it could be used as an adjective too but here it's a noun so it means a any person who is born to this world and one day sooner or later he or she has to die and make room for other generations next generation so any mortal uh, any person who is about to die one day ever considers uh, it, nobody should consider or think that he has a surplus of good things it means he has everything at hand because actually one day they need to just leave everything and say goodbye to this world okay N number five traitor traitor means a person who betrays his or her country a friend duty etc 
a very good synonym for that is treacherous yeah treacherous means uh, betrayer uh, very good uh, let's say antonym means opposite is uh, patriotic or patriot as a noun patriot yeah we have it here yeah. the patriot sneered when asked to stand on the same platform with the man who was accused of being a traitor the whole uh, sentence here okay the patriot a person who loves his or her country particularly and fellow men sneered means uh, just laugh at sneer means laugh at since that was the concept that is laughed at must be really ridiculous when asked to stand on the same platform in the same position next to with the man who was accused of who was uh, supposed to be a felon or a criminal in the f uh, because of being a traitor you know if, if a person is accused of something it means that that person have, must have done something wrong so that person must be a convict or is convicted uh, so it was not um, an appropriate decision to put or juxtapose let me write it down here juxtapose means to put two, two things or two people next to each other you cannot juxtapose a patriot and a traitor next to each other because they cannot get along okay sentence B no villain no villain is worse than a traitor who betrays his country villain is a foul character usually in a story film movie etc is worse than a traitor who betrays his own country so it's clear okay this is the worst scenario I mean uh, uh, a traitor is the worst scenario sentence C do not call him a traitor unless you verify the charge charge refers to accusation you remember mm, yeah so accusation or charge is something that you say uh, according to which you just consider a person guilty of something particularly in a court of law we have two words here uh, plaintiff and defendant yeah uh, a plaintiff is a person who let's say presses charges against the defendant in a court of law and the defendant was clear is a person who is accused of something you see okay uh, all right so if you do not have enough evidence to verify that somebody is a defendant you should not just press charges against him or her this is the meaning of this sentence okay sentence I'm sorry uh, word six deliberate as a noun deliberate as an adjective uh, as, I'm sorry as an adjective deliberate as a verb deliberate you know pronunciation changes to consider carefully to consider carefully intended done or on purpose or purposefully slow and careful as though allowing time to decide what to do so as an adjective deliberate means careful and slow intentional 
and as a verb it means to consider to think deeply about something sentence a Rico Rico's excuse was a deliberate lie uh, his excuse or pretext it means something that you say in order to get away from something and it's not true uh, for example say make an excuse or make or bring a pretext write it uh, bring a pretext or make an excuse okay was a deliberate intentional lie so he or she I don't know if Rico is a boy or girl doesn't matter very much uh, I suppose he uh, so he must be a, a dishonest person sentence B my grandfather walks with deliberate steps so uh, he walks with careful and the slow steps because he is decrepit let me write it down decrepit means very old and having some physical problems particularly at moving and doing something manually another ver uh, adjective we have that is senile senile is an old person uh, but it is uh, from a mental point of view not physical point of view remember decrepit has something to do with physical disability of the old and senile has something to do with the mental for example if a person is developing some sort of the Alzheimer's disease and uh, Parkinson's you know okay sentence C uh, yes judge Sirica deliberated for a week before making his decision known so he adjourned let me write it down adjourn adjourn D is not pronounced it means to postpone a session a court a session of court postpone until a uh, further time uh, as uh, another time in future in order to think about something more carefully and profoundly well done. He deliberated for a week before making his decision known, before make it public. Okay, uh, word seven, vandal. Vandal, person who willfully or ignorantly destroys or damages beautiful things, public properties, particularly public properties. Let me write it down. Such as ATMs. You know, ATM stands for automatic teller machines and the other public properties. Even we have vandalism. Vandalism is a school of thought which is so nasty and unpleasant and unorthodox. Okay, uh, so if a person willfully means intentionally and eagerly and with based on will or, or volition or, or ignorantly, it means based on ignorance, not knowing what a person actually is doing, destroys or damages or sabotage beautiful things. Adolescent vandals, twins, young vandals, 
wrecked remember w is not pronounced wrecked the cafeteria means destroyed damage the cafeteria or cafe b the vandals deliberately ripped the paintings from the wall okay the vandals deliberately means intentionally ripped means tore the uh, past form of tear and destroy the paintings or portraits for example from the wall c we could scarcely believe the damage caused by the vandals actually their tasks or deeds were incredible we could not believe so much sabotage or destruction what they did was incredible in a bad way in a negative way not in a positive way so it scarcely means hardly we could not it's negat it's negative it, it's negator you know uh, we could not believe it, as a matter of fact the damage caused by the vandals so okay word eight drought means famine starvation okay long period of dry weather lack of rain lack of water dryness okay so because of the drought some farmers began to migrate to more fertile regions because of when oh, it is let's say followed by something unpleasant you can also say due to owing to on account of etc and after these uh, phrases it's better to use a negative or to just mention something negative as we have here drought is not something positive some farmers began to migrate or move to more fertile regions or lands uh, pieces of or even you can say stretches of lands okay uh, sentence b in time of drought it means when it is uh, oh, when the time actually is not really agreeable and uh, we are facing some problems the crops become scorched crop means agricultural uh, products okay become scorched it means dehydrated they just they are burnt dehydrated because of high heat or strong heat because of a strong heat okay because there is no there isn't enough water to water the crops and they become dehydrated sentence C as the drought wore out wore on people began to grumble against those who had squandered water when it was more plentiful as he, he here means uh, at the time of or also uh, you know two things are happening at the same time there's a kind of coincidence and it shows coincidence at uh, the time uh, the brow uh, the drought wore on or broke uh, broke out broke out uh, because break out means to become widespread people began to grumble or complain or nag against those who had a squander means waste squander water when it was more plentiful when it was um, in in great supply when we had a lot of it 
so they just wa uh, wasted some people just wasted uh, a lot of water when it was in great supply that's why now we have some uh, let's say insufficiency of water and there are many people who are complaining about that okay uh, you know uh, rephrasing or paraphrasing or restatement of sentences can help you a lot to become more flexible and to improve your English to brush up your words to play with words and I do it a lot and I recommend you do that too okay and remember it's better for you to subscribe to our channel because I'm going to create uh, a lot of videos so this is not the only one and the last one or the first one just subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, it's better for you to just create an account on lelb.net lelb.net as you can see here lelb.net uh, in order to have access to a lot of uh, services and you know I don't have enough time to talk about that you can make it self-discovery just visit us at a little bit of net and you will have access to all of those services and also you can attend our online classes if you are smart enough you don't need to go to actually ordinary and traditional classes to spend so much time in the heavy traffic and uh, you know uh, the the air is polluted you need to go there you need to come back you spend so much time on the way and when you get back you're tired you need to take a shower you know uh, the best uh, solution I think is to uh, attend online classes not every online classes you know I don't want to say that my classes are up high quality you can decide on that but actually um, our online or virtual classes that are academic that are let's say scientific they or systematic you know they can help you a lot and you can save a lot of time and energy and money okay uh, word nine abide abide means accept or follow out remain faithful to dwell dwell means to stay endure endure means to be tolerant of something to have perseverance to persist in remember abide means comply with we are being bombarded with lots of words but why not uh, so abide by means comply with means conform to okay uh, the team decided unanimously to abide by the captain's ruling ruling means m basic and ultimate decisions so the team decided unanimously means entirely completely every uh, member of the team actually uh, was uh, showing their agreement uh, to abide by the captain's ruling that's why we have unanimously okay uh, B Senator Irvin abided by his promise not to allow demonstrations in the committee room so Senator Irvin abided by his promise it means he kept his promise so we say make a promise and then keep your promise okay not to allow demonstrations or protests you know protests so uh, he did not just uh, encourage any person to go on a strike to show let's say uh, opposition in the committee room C my mother cannot abide dirt and vermin so she cannot tolerate she cannot tolerate the dirt or pollution or uh, infection or 
vermin vermin remember vermin is like some other words like fish ship deer you know these words are plural words that's why you cannot say vermins as you can see here actually there is a red line below it because it is ungrammatical okay uh, so uh, it refers to small creatures small animals particularly insects or even mice the plural form of mouse that are so uh, noisy and bothersome okay 10 unify means unite means put together or join uh, make or form into one you know uni here and also again uni means one you know in latin that's why we have uh, unique it means oh, just one or many other words unilateral and um, yeah there are many words sentence a the novel traces the developments uh, that unite that unified the family here novel refers to the story storybook traces or refers to or follows the developments that unified the family advancement or progress that unified or united the family the family members just put them together B after the Civil War our country became unified more strongly Civil War it refers to actually domestic war let me use my digital blackboard <laughs> digital word why not domestic war it means a war that takes place inside a country and not actually between two countries here it is capitalized so it refers to the uh, United States it refers to that particular civil war our country became unified strongly maybe that's why we have United States of America USA the United States it means it means that this um, over 50 states are united or they are actually in cooperation or agreement with each other C it takes a great deal of training to unify all these recruits into an efficient fighting machine it takes a great deal of means a lot of a large amount of training and education and actually teaching to unify all these recruits or staff or personnel or employees into an efficient fighting machine uh, into efficient uh, means professional and effective fighting machine means soldiers that are uh, destined to kill you know it it must refer to soldiers or privates or some military agents you know fighting machines and there is a simile or a comparison between actually fighting machines and people who are about to or who are supposed to kill in at the front okay and uh, so I think I explained everything yeah um, and word 11 summit summit as I explained it to you uh, it has three basic meanings one the highest point of a mountain or a hill two uh, the highest point of something you know a period of time for example apex or zenith uh, and three a very important conference political conference highest point top 
Okay, A. We estimated the summit of the mountain to be 20,000 feet. Remember, there, are, there is another counterpart for estimate that is calculate. Okay, estimate is more tentative, means not accurate, but calculate, calculate is more accurate, you know, okay, we just estimated the summit or the peak of the mountain to be 20,000 feet, so each three feet equals one meter, so must be around uh, six thousand uh, six and a half thousand uh, meters I mean the altitude of the mountain altitude it means the height of the mountain okay Sentence B, do not underestimate Ruth's ambition to reach the summit of the acting profession. Do not underestimate, it means don't uh, devalue, or the opposite of underestimated or is overestimate. Uh, it means do not degrade that person's or downgrade that person's potential or capability, Ruth's ambition or burning desire to reach the summit or the zenith. Let me see. Or apex. Or also you can say pinnacle. Yeah, the pinnacle. Uh, it means the highest point of uh, acting profession so he wants to be an actor okay the summit meeting of world leaders dim diminished the threat of war here it refers to political important political uh, conferences meeting of world leaders diminished means dwindled or re reduced the threat or danger or menace of war and the last word is heed remember it's long e you know in your dictionary it is written with this alphabetic structure long e and short e is this okay um, for example, um, the simple past form of hide is hit, short e, but this is heed. All right. Uh, give careful attention to, take notice of, careful attention, heed. I demand that you heed what I say. I make a strong request that you pay attention to what I say. Florence pays no heed to what the signs say. So he or she, I, I don't know, I'm not good at names, uh, pays no heed to actually, so that person must be ignorant of or ignoring of what the signs or uh, some symbols uh, say it's clear and the last sentence take heed and be on guard against those who try to deceive you take heed means be cautious also you can say cautious yeah I uh, was really cautious about <laughs> writing it correctly uh, so mm, be on guard means be defensive means take care of yourself uh, about those who want to deceive you and uh, want to just mistreat you okay so 
let me just explain about this you know you can have access to other uh, sessions of this great course book 504 absolutely essential words and just visit us on lelb.net and also this these are some tags uh, here on our website if you have any question about this unit you can just leave it here use your social media accounts leave it here and I will get back to you and let me just show some some of the recently added posts on Instagram just follow me on Instagram you know for example summit here <laughs> prompt hasty and some more let me show tempest scorch redeem soothe mm, temperate sympathy and there are s over 600 posts so please follow me on instagram at lelb lelb society and also you can just uh, subscribe to my youtube channel to receive upcoming free classes and this is the atmosphere of our English uh, classes on Discord. Just you need to download Discord and join our classes on Discord here. And you have access to my contact information here. You can just let me. I am Dr. Hariri. I, I live in Iran. Uh, so you can just uh, telephone me contact me email me and if you play you just click here you you can chat with me on Skype if you want to attend if for example if you if you are an IELTS or TOEFL candidate and you want to improve your English I can help you tremendously and you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel Opera channel Instagram and so on and so forth and uh, also we uh, hold some uh, essay writing classes you can write your essays and post it on the web and i will just um, correct it and let you know about your grammar or ielts writing mistakes or errors okay thank you very much and i hope to see you in our online classes soon and take care of yourself and have a great time.